In the past weeks, the MPP's leadership has been actively encouraging potential candidates to represent the party in constituencies where it had not been able to field a candidate during previous elections. These constituencies termed often constituencies hold significant importance as they present a unique opportunity for the party to strengthen its presence in the traditionally opposition-dominated voter region. With the nomination deadline fast approaching, hopeful candidates have been seen queuing up at the party's offices to file their nominations. The party's nomination process, which emphasizes internal democracy, has resulted in keen competition as multiple contenders vie for the ticket to represent the MPP in the often constituencies. The Hohe constituency, which is the only seat the MPP has in the 18 constituencies in the voter region, is however exempted, but sources say the incumbent MP, John Peter Amau, will still compete for the seat. In the Pando constituency, where the incumbent NDC MP won't be seeking to be re-elected after she was defeated by Sebastian Deh, MPP Setawu Abuja says she is confident of winning the seat for the MPP when she is elected to become the parliamentary candidate on the ticket of the MPP. She said, when given the nod, the Pando constituency will be elevated to the level it deserves. She is, however, facing stiff competition from the MC of the Pando municipality, Geoffrey Badasu. We are we bringing a lot of energy on board and we wish that we put our people first and also to make Pando shine as it used to be in the past. Because at first, when you hear about Pando and you hear about Nuatro, you know straight they are talking about Pando. Also, if you hear a dialect, it's different from all the other dialects. As soon as you speak your language, everybody, it's a distinct and, and a unique dialect that it tells you where you come from. So we are in a unique people, and I think that we need to take our place in the Volta region. Dr. John Yao Eleblu also submitted his nomination forms at the MPP's North Town Constituency Office. According to him, he is the best person to bring development to the North Town Constituency as the current MP has neglected his constituency to fight on behalf of the NDC. If you look at the constituency and you see the suffering uh, of the people not being represented well in parliament by the current MP, I feel that all the work I've been doing at the University of Ghana as a senior lecturer and coordinator for the West Africa Centre for Crop Improvement, where I've been able to raise more than $10 million in support of projects, managing those projects with our professors, I believe that I can bring the same energy to support the people and transform their lives. Some party members in the North Town constituency who spoke to City News noted that Dr. John Xavier Eleblu is the best candidate to lead the party. He has what it takes to be there to challenge the incumbent of North Town, Honorable Kujeto. In that class, he is there. In terms of academics, he is there. In terms of um, pedigree, he is there. He, he has all what it takes. And then he is a people, he's, he joined this grade because people call. The youth are calling that he needs to come and get a job done so that we can flip North Town for MPP. In the Central Town District as well, the current DC, Thomas Moore Zonya, is also tipped to contest for the ticket of the MPP. Speaking to City News, Deputy Secretary of the MPP in Whole West, Stephen Apabli says, some of the aspirants have picked their nomination forms and are yet to file. According to him, the process has been smooth so far, but however noted that no constituency executives have picked nomination forms and noted that this has not been as a result of the party's directive for executives to step down before filing or picking their nominations. Uh, one person in the person of uh, Dr. David Togbe Mfujo picked nomination form. Um, he has since not filed yet. After that, uh, that was last week, one other person, one young man, a uh, coordinator for that matter, also picked a nomination form. That's um, Godwin Mauto Wanka also picked a nomination form. Uh, he is here to file, and we are also hearing that other two persons may uh, may pick nomination form. Uh, that's the current DCE and also a former chairman of the constituency. That's uh, 
Honorable Eric Nipunwe and Honorable Hapa. They are yet to pick nomination form. But the information we have so far indicated that uh, they may be picking nomination forms anytime soon. One major constituency which the MPP wants to capture in 2024 is the whole central constituency. The current MC, Divine Boston, says he is the best person to lead the cause for a change in the municipality as his works as an MC shows his capabilities. I'm aware it's not going to be on a silver platter because this the, the only party the people of the constituency have been voting for or candidate have been voting for has been the NDC. To ask them to change from their a normal kind of voting to follow you it's going to be a very uh, engaging uh, affair, which I'm up to that task. When you are a skilled person, we will develop you. When it comes to education, we will develop you. When it comes to agriculture, we will develop you. When it comes to business, we will develop you. So I call it youth human development, which is tall on my agenda. Some party faithfuls who spoke to City News called for peace during the nomination and filing processes. They also pledge support for whoever the delegates elect to represent their constituencies during the 2024 elections. Whoever the grassroots, it's an election, whoever the grassroots has picked, that's how to go with. And they must, the grassroots should remember that the election doesn't go to whoever you love or who you know he can work, who you know he can go the ground not to be doing himself like a, as a big man. The respect, bow down, everything. Go to house to house. That's why, that's what, that bring us the election to uh, 2016. We got a lot of vote in the whole central. So that's what, who we want. So they should go with peace, love, and so that we can win the election. The deadline fast approaching, some aspirants in the voter region have picked their nomination forms, while others are also submitting theirs. Reporting for City News, I'm Desmond Salasiago.